Is that photoshopped? We have reached the point where we doubt most of the photos we see online. Often we ask anyone if this was photoshopped. Most of the funny things we have seen online are definitely photoshopped. However, there are photos that no one can explain or admit that it wasn't photoshopped. Welcome to The Bestest, the channel that provides you the bestest news and videos you should know about. In today's episode, we'll discuss the most mysterious photos you cannot explain. Before we start, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications of our videos. We all know that The Bestest can serve you a platter filled with everything you have yet to find out. Believe it or not, there are a lot of disputes about photos. This isn't even just about being credited properly or copyright. Sometimes it's just something we can barely even explain. And in this episode, we get to see these photos and at least have an idea whether they're photoshopped or not. At number one, we have the babushka lady. Some of you may have seen this photo ongoing around on conspiracy blogs as well. The babushka lady was a woman who appeared to be documenting President John F. Kennedy being gunned down in Dallas Dealey Plaza. What made it mysterious was that not even the FBI could find her. But in 1970, a woman named Beverly Oliver came forward to a conspiracy theorist named Gary Shaw. She admitted to be the babushka lady. However, she was met with trepidation once she admitted this. Another fact that she shared with Gary was that she used a Yashica Super 8 camera, which was not even in circulation until 1968. We're not even sure if we'll be asking you if this was photoshopped. It's such an old photo and an old conspiracy. However, that doesn't mean Beverly Oliver is the real deal, right? Can you imagine doubting your own knowledge and eyesight in this episode? Are you prepared to see different mysterious photos you will absolutely doubt? If you are, hang on to your phones and watch until the end. And number two, we have hanging around. It was taken in the comfort of the Cooper family dining room. However, there was a mysterious figure dangling from the ceiling. We are not saying this photo is authentic, although you have to admit this photo is among the most spine-chilling photos that could give you nightmares for a long time. <laughs> At number three, we have the backseat driver. A photo that continues to haunt drivers, especially those driving at night. This is a story that goes back in 1959. Mabel Chinnery, the wife of a man seen driving in the photo, was planning to visit her mother's grave. Then, she went out and took a photo of her husband. However, the mysterious man in the back stole the show. If you aren't creeped out by this, then you're probably among the people who don't check the backseat of their cars when they're about to drive. At number 4, we have the old lady and her husband. Hospices and hospitals do have a certain depressing reality that surrounds them. Sometimes we just find ourselves afraid of getting lost in the hospital, especially after dark. For some, having a photo with your husband's ghost brings a daily dose of nostalgia. The family has sworn that when this photo was taken, no man was behind their grandmother. Do you think their relationship was a happy one that the late husband just couldn't let go? Or perhaps there were a lot of terrible memories that is why the late husband couldn't let go. <laughs> At number 5, the glowing balls. Some may think this is the 7 Dragon Balls that Goku has finally collected, but no. These were seen by several people from the Mekong River in Thailand. Witnesses have claimed to see fireballs rising up high into the air before they completely disappear. Due to the lack of solid evidence, these claims were regarded as hoax stories. We don't know what kind of phenomena this is. It may be related to science, or maybe even the supernatural. Alright, we're already halfway through this episode, and it's about to make you lose your trust with your eyes. You may say you have a perfect vision, but against the unexplained, it has no chance. 
At number six, we have the Stanley Hotel Lobby. While we see a few ghost photos almost everywhere, this photo taken in the lobby of Stanley Hotel has been regarded as the real deal. Its legitimacy has been confirmed, and as expected, not a lot of people believe it. Despite this photo receiving thorough analysis and validation from photo experts, not everyone believes in the existence of the ghost in this photo. Do you think this is real? Well, the photo is real, it's unedited, so maybe the right question would be, do you think ghosts are real? At number 7, we have the sunken UFO. Hooray! Could this be the evidence we're looking for in order to move forward to the discovery of extraterrestrial life? Well, a team of Swedish treasure hunters dove down onto the floor of the northern Baltic Sea in June 2011. Their equipment captured a photo of an unusual disc-shaped object that people have called a sunken UFO. Seeing as it's an amazing discovery, they tried getting close to the object and that's when their equipment began to fail. It forced them to swim further away. This photo has received a lot of scrutiny and suspicion as soon as it was released to the public. However, no one can confirm the validity and legitimacy of this photo until another expedition is done. At number 8, we have the Watertown Hunting. This photo was a photo of the late James Courtney and Michael Meehan. Both had experienced a rather unfortunate death. They were cleaning a cargo tank right before the gas fumes overcame them. As part of a traditional custom, they were buried out at sea. However, it is believed that they didn't actually rest in peace. Crew members have witnessed unusual sightings in the nearby waves. These unusual sightings were James Courtney and Michael Meehan not entirely giving up their shifts. Now, that's more than just working yourself to death. Okay. At number 9, we have the church ghost. Peter Barthola took a photo of his wife, Diane, as she prayed on one of the church benches in Worsted Church, Norfolk, England. It was a simple task. However, when Peter had the film developed, they spotted a haunting, ashen-clad lady that lurked behind Diane. The couple took the photo to the vicar. This was probably the time when the term white lady was made popular. Locals believed that the lady behind Diane was once a healer. Diane believed that ghosts' healing practices rubbed off on her. Now, do you believe ghosts can heal you? That's a story we should definitely discuss in future episodes, right? Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 But so far, all the photos we've presented in this episode is definitely creeping us out a little. And we're sure that this last photo would haunt you as you rack your brain for a somewhat logical explanation behind this photo. And number 10, we have the Staircase Ghost. Yes, a lot of ghost-related photos in this episode, but right now, considering these photos as something supernatural, may be the only way we can explain them. And while we're on the topic of ghosts, a retired clergyman for British Columbia got more than just a relaxed holiday in London, England. He went on a trip to the National Maritime Museum in Greenwich, where he saw a beautiful staircase. Then, he took a photo of this magnificent staircase. However, once he had the film developed, he didn't see the amazing staircase. Instead, he saw a climbing ghost. Who knew ghosts could climb, right? This would probably be why most people are scared of using the stairs in the middle of the night. What do you think of these photos? Do you think there could be a logical explanation behind it? We can't say that these photos were just photoshopped. However, we can't also say that all these photos are legit. We're walking on such a gray area here. So what do you think could be a logical explanation for these? Are we going to acknowledge the existence of the supernatural and paranormal? Let us know in the comment section below. Make sure to like and subscribe to The Bestest and hit the bell to access more of our videos. Thank you so much for watching and until our next Bestest video.
Thank you.